Hello guys and welcome the fuck back to Condemn 2 Bloodshot, I believe it's called. Uh, we are back here to do some more searching for criminals and shooting people and shit. Uh, so we can't do that one because there's no antenna on it. Um, but I haven't actually found, still haven't found, this happens by the way. Uh, you always want to shoot them. Uh, a lot of the time they will just fucking outright attack you um, with the needle and whatever so you want to find them but oh look what he did in that toilet that is gross you you are one foul human being and I'm glad I blew your head off but yeah um, you definitely want to take out all of the enemies that you can when you find them because seriously they they will literally just tear you apart otherwise like so many of them um, so we're going to have a look through every single room, like I said. I'm not skipping any room if I can see it. Um, if I miss one, though, because of my stupidity or whatever, please do not crucify me. Uh, I don't want to be crucified. Ah! Boom! Motherfucker! Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay, now I'm just gonna go take a poo. I said don't. Why don't you listen? I do like the blood effects in this game as well because they're quite simple. They they work really effectively, so that gives it off like a, a much much better atmospheric effect. But um, obviously, it doesn't stay there, which is kind of poopy. But hey, it was quite early on in the blood scene and gore scene and stuff, so I mean. What do you expect? It's still fucking great though. This game in general is just fucking brilliant. And I'm going to fanboy a lot over this game while playing it. Uh, that is just something that is going to happen. Because I do fucking love this game. Like, a lot. Even though sometimes I rage at it and it gets very difficult to play. I still love this game. So all the lights have gone out now. Which is nice. I love how you hear the sound of your feet. That's very annoying. Uh, oh god, that fucking dude scared me. Um, right, I don't think there's anything actually in here. Can't get in there. <laughs> fucking Jesus Christ! Die. By the way, you want to try and get headshots with the the guns in this game because seriously, man. Search team, come in. Otherwise, you're doing nothing. The city map indicates that a commuter train passes the north side of the hotel. You're searching the wrong area. Ten four. Everyone, back to the elevators. Book of fuck yourself. I'm in the right area. Well, I'm in the right area. Fuck you. What the hell are you planning on doing? Taking a shortcut now. Step back. I hate you. We can access the main lobby through here. I'll go first. LaRue will bring up the rear. Okay. Go on, LaRue. After you. All right, then I'll Your go. turn, Mr. Thomas. You said LaRue. Unless you're calling me LaRue. Which, in which case, isn't my name. I'm called Thomas. Just thought I'd point that out to you, potato man. Oh, no! Are you hurt? Did you break anything? No, I'm good. We got a problem here. The elevator car just slipped 12 inches. Here it comes. Whoa! <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. Smart. That was quick. I lost contact. <gasps> oh no. Lost my weapon. Bedpost it is. Negative. These old buildings are shit for reception. Thomas, if you can hear me, make your way to the hotel lobby. We'll meet up with you there. Find the main lobby and meet up with Doland and Lou. Yeah, it is Lou. Why the fuck did I go next then when LaRue was... This could have happened to LaRue and I could have stayed upstairs out of harm's way. <laughs> fuck you guys. Oh, there's one guy. Hi. Oh, bloody hell. Hello. How you doing, bro? Uh. Do you want to calm down, buddy? <laughs> fuck you. Fuck you. And fuck you. Oh. 
I love like the little sound that just comes with it. Okay, so even though like it takes time, I'd rather wait for my health to heal before continuing. Okay, we've destroyed one. Two out of four meth labs destroyed. Okay, that's good. I like trying to do everything that you can possibly do in this game, especially like all the side stuff, like the score stuff. So the scores are the responses, the antennas, and the emitters. So as of right now, we are not doing very good for the emitters. Uh, okay, that is a sign that there is an emitter close. We know this now. So the fuck? Oh god, no! Don't drop the bed post. Spectrometer. Your spectrometer can detect and track suspicious sound sources. That would have been handy to have in the first one, you know. Fucking really. All of this stuff, and it didn't give it to me until now. Fuck you, game. Okay, we are going in the right direction. Ah, I found it. Okay. Uh, can I put you away? Really? Can I just hit it then? <clears throat> Not ideally. Uh, ah! Got it. Cool. Okay, so we need to use that to track the suspicious sounds. If I'd known that, I would have been able to get the one in the first fucking level. Bollocks! Didn't realise that we had all that stuff. I know you get it all in the first game, but I didn't know if you had it in this one. I couldn't remember. Sir, be advised that a surge of riot activity has been reported in your area. In the hotel? Pretty sure that wasn't open. Um, was it? Am I just a stoop? Pretty sure that wasn't open then. So that's where the meth lab was. That's where we could have also destroyed it if we wanted to. So you got some med kits in there, which we don't need right now. It's always good to make sure that you've got some form of healing uh, kit in your area. Because you never know when something's going to just jump out on you and be like, Hey bro, I'm gonna fuck your day up. <laughs> fucking die. Fuck it. God, there's so many of them. <laughs> Fuck you. Oh. I fucking, I don't even care about doing a special finisher on you. <laughs> Fuck you. Woo! And we didn't lose any bars of health. We are doing good. We are doing fucking fantastic. Whew. All right. Okay, time to move on. I think we're doing pretty fucking good in this game so far. Although, to be fair, I'm not happy with like how many antennas, antennas uh, we're finding uh, and the emitters. But I don't know if they come later. I don't know if we're going to find some now when we come back to some more rooms. I think, pretty sure we come to more rooms. Yeah, that we got right oh, to Jesus, that scared the shit out of me. Um, I don't really want to go outside. Just eat what is not blinding me in horn. Oh, fuck. I don't really want to go outside. Oh, uh, aim mode to bring up the gun and increase accuracy, press and hold LT, or alcohol withdrawals cause jitters, so find the drink small quantities to calm your nerves. Oh god, it does. So that's what the alcohol does. Okay. Note, the calming effect of alcohol is temporary. So we've got two health kits and another shotgun. Which apparently does less than this shotgun. But we can't take any ammo from it, which is kind of annoying. Um, okay, well. We're probably going to come back to get some more of that then. I think there's a, a achievement for like doing the entire game without using one single firearm. Um, I'm not too sure, don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure there is. Uh, 
This is why I don't get involved at first. Just watch them beat the shit out of each other. I mean, they're going to do a lot of damage to each other. Either that or one will be killed. And then you can step in. No. Anyone with a fucking gun dies. You don't have a gun, but I shot you in the ass. I think he died. Yeah. You had a pistol. Pistol with ten Damn. rounds? Shit. You had a shotgun. What a fucking... What, what's that called? A sub gun? You had a fucking... It's an MP5, technically. God damn it. And a shotgun obviously does more damage. But you only have three bullets for it. You don't need that. Though. I think we're going to go for a sub gun. Because why the fuck not? We could go back and just get more ammo for the shotgun. Um, but... I see it. Okay, we got an emitter. That's good. So there's only two more emitters left. Which is very good. Save it. Mr. Thomas. That. Stop worrying. I'm in the main lobby. Four out of five responses too. Good. We're doing good. We're doing good for a score on this one. I reckon if we can get a couple more antennas, we're definitely going to go over um, silver again. You have to get it all to get a gold. So, Okay, do we want to go melee or do we want to continue with a gun? I think we'll continue with a gun for now, but I think we're going to possibly slip back to go for a melee. I think that's going to be the smart idea. I did put a bullet into him then just to make sure he was dead. Forensic investigation. The goal is to find evidence, decipher clues, and make ob observations that answered the forensic task. To get started, approach the body and press A to study the evidence. Rosa, come in. Glad to hear you're still with us. Identify ID. A dead body. Okay, let's try and make an ID. In this in this scene, you are asked to find three pieces of evidence that, that best identifies the victim. Begin by examining the victim's face. Yes, that would probably be the first one. Male or female? Adolescent male, adult male. Notice that your selection has been added to your evidence list. Also note the number of evidence required has been updated. Okay. Clothing. Police uniform. And he's got a gunshot in the back. What, we're not going for the gunshot? Oh. Security badge 46. Excellent. If you are happy with your choices, you can now submit them to Rosa. If not, continue investigation and change your selections as needed. So it's an adult male, police uniform, security badge, 46. Receiving evidence now. I only got good. Mm, what you send doesn't amount to much. Can you determine the cause of death? Now examine the body closely and look at the evidence that will help determine the cause of death. I fucking just... Uh, uh, leg, arm, or torso, neck. Trauma point. Neck, torso. Wound type, gunshot wound. Interpretation. Exit wound, I think. I would assume that would be the exit wound, right? Yeah. Got it. Perfect. Good work. Fuck it appears it. the victim bled out from a gunshot wound to the chest. I'm guessing the shooting is connected to our investigation somehow. Oh, Has really? The body been moved? Is this the crime scene? Has the body been moved? Is this the crime scene? Some evidence can only be seen when using your UV light tool. Oh! Fuck, man. The body has been moved. Okay, I think I'm going to continue this in the next episode. If you guys have enjoyed it, remember, click that like button as always. And if you're feeling fruity, ooh, fruity, you can click the subscribe button as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed and I will catch you guys in the motherfucking next episode. Goodbye for now.